All right. This is the last of the hall of computers. But yeah, this is an HP Compact 6005 Pro. I can now say that I properly own a Compact. So yes. Now let's get into some information about this PC. Now here's the truth. I usually try to find computers that are pretty cheap on eBay. This one was $15 originally. This thing was originally $15 excluding shipping, but here's the thing. So, long story short, this computer, I got a 100% full refund on it. No joke. So I literally just got this thing for free. And, well, you'd already know this for a long time by now if you've been on my Discord server, which, if you want to, a little bit of self-promo here, but link is down below in the description for that. Yes, 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 yes. But anyway, so a little bit of information relating to this model. This is the AMD model and not the Intel model. I believe I was able to find recovery media for this exact PC on the internet archive, but I wasn't able to find any of it for Windows Vista, the OS that this would have originally shipped with, I think. Although, it also states on the OS sticker on the side of the computer that it says OS Vista, but can be downgraded to XP Pro. So, I don't know which one it is, and this thing didn't have a hard drive in it. However, as a part of the haul, I managed to get a lot of hard drives, and so yeah, that's pretty nice, and they're in the closet. And some information about this machine, it has a... Athlon 2, and I've noticed that it's an interesting, that it's a way that computer companies differentiate their AMD products with their Intel products. By using, by putting a 5 at the end of the model number for their AMD products, as I've seen that with the Lenovo C20X and this computer. So yeah, it's a, I believe a socket AM3, if I remember correctly. I don't remember how much memory is in this, but we'll find out. It has a lot of USB ports, 10 USB ports. That's like the most I've ever seen on a computer. Like four on the front and another six on the back. And yeah, so as you can tell, this is a SFF. But let's open this thing up. Let me pause the camera because I don't want to show my face and ha and make YouTube turn off comments for this video. So yeah, here's a back panel or the panel. And yeah, guess which if the comments are actually on this video, then try for fun, you might want to just try and guess which state this computer came from. I'll probably reveal it next week, which, spoiler alert, I might do a Windows XP video next week. But yeah, so let's look inside. We got a power unit. Let me just read this quickly. Uh, what does it say on there? Let me just read that off quickly. That says a 140 to 240 volt power supply. I hope that that isn't a bad thing, because this thing didn't come with a power supply, but it did come with in a lot of bubble wrap and some airbags, which were very fun to pop the airbags. I didn't pop the pop the bubble wrap though, because my older sister has been stockpiling bubble wrap, and, and so yeah. Although I could tell that it was bubble wrap that you could pop. It would have been really nice to pop it because it was a lot of bubble wrap. But anyway, there we can see that there's like two sticks of RAM. A, there seems to be a disk drive in here. I can't tell, but there probably was space for a floppy drive down there. Some heat sinks. CMOS battery is in there. Although, I'm pretty sure the CMOS battery probably there's even a CMOS battery in my gateway. A dead one, though. Yeah. Well, let me just check my power unit as soon as I can get the. Anyway, let's get the front panel back on this thing and let's get it all ready to boot up. Obviously, I'm not gonna plug the mouse into this and we're probably gonna have to use the power supply originally supposed to be used for the gateway on this computer now. It's being used with three different computers now. I can't believe it. Anyway, let's get this thing hooked up and yeah. And now it's all I have to do now is plug in the machine. I am not plugging it in immediately because I don't know if the CMOS battery is dead and hopefully this thing power unit and hopefully I don't we don't end up with a firework show in my bedroom. Let's see. Do we have has it turned on? No. Let's see. What? Oh that this oh here. There it seems to be the HP and Invent. 
V1.03. Let's see. ED ROM. Ooh, 2048 megabytes. So that's two gigabytes. The following configuration options were automatically updated to CD ROM. DVD, indeed, DVD, WTS, H653R. No IDE fixed disk present. Address. F10. English. System information. HP Compact 6005 Pro F SFF PC. SKU number. No, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna read it out loud. Processor type: AMD Athlon TM2 X2 B24 processor. Processor speed: 3000 slash 2000 megahertz. Memory size seems to be two gigabytes, as I said. System BIOS: 786 G6 of U01.03. So yeah, this. this Seymour Fairy said in it, actually, no. Or does this thing shut down? Oh no, we just strike F2. Let's see what this does. It's troubling in us diagnostics. No, it does not. Non-system disk or disk error. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna try and do any tight like this kind of off. So yeah, that's the HP Compact 6005 Pro that I just got. It is the last of my three machines from a recent haul of computers, and yeah. So with that out of the way, thanks for watching. Bye.